Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of this Top Tip series. My name is Winters and you are most welcome. So as you can see we are back on Starfleet Academy. There's the uh, Golden Gate Bridge or the San Francisco Bridge. Um, yeah, and uh, we are going to talk about a mission that I actually referenced uh, quite a few episodes back. Um, and it's to do with research and development. So we are actually going to go into the same building that you go into to recruit new duty officers. And I'm sure you all remember uh, that episode. And um, what you want to do is you want to select talk to personnel officer. And from there, click on submit request for personnel. Now, if you remember the last time, um, uh, my advice to you was to use uh, Tactical Engineering Science and Civilian Corps and uh, to stay away from general recruitment. Well, there's an extra mission down here called Request R&D Assistance. If we select it, we can see it opens up a new uh, duty officer mission for us. It costs 1,000 lithium to run. It takes 48 hours to complete and we get a little bit of uh, recruitment XP. So what this mission does is it basically rewards you, guaranteed, you have 100% success rate on this mission. You will get a random assortment of R&D materials and maybe components. Uh, there is also a chance of getting an R&D specialist, which are needed to craft uh, high-end items in uh, the various different schools. So. Um, I'm going to run this mission now anyway, uh, and um, like I said, it has a 48 hour cooldown. Uh, once it completes, it then goes on a further lockout for a further 24 hours before the mission can be run again. Right, so um, I'm going to click on R&D here, and I'm going to go to one of the schools. So the, the specialists that I talked about are for the level 15 items. So for example, in the beam school, it's an omnidirectional beam array. That is the item that you can only craft once you're level 15 and you have a beam specialist duty officer. For uh, dual, he uh, for cannons, it's a wide arc dual heavy cannon. For ground weapons, it's the TR-116B sniper rifle and you have to have the appropriate uh, DOF for that. And if I click begin, we can see here uh, R&D ground equipment and there that's the specialist uh, duty officer for that. So there is a, a chance that you will get a specialist for any of the various schools. Um, so it's completely random. But there is one extra little thing that you can get as an extremely small percentage chance that you can get this. Um, some of you may be aware of the Aegis set. Now, at one point, the Aegis set would have been like the meta in the game. Um, there's nothing wrong with the set. You know, it's, it's pretty good. Um, it, it's, it can get you going, you know, until you can uh, finally afford your high-end, um, maybe reputation or uh, fleet gear for your final build on your ship. But uh, the Aegis set comes from crafting, and if we click on engineering, we can see we get the Aegis Hyper Impulse Engines. If we click on science, we get the Aegis Deflector Array, and if we click on shields, we get the Aegis Covariant Shield. Um, now, if I click begin, we can see here that it slots in uh, the duty officer needed to craft this item. And you can see here it says R&D Aegis. That means that this guy can only be used to craft the Aegis set. And believe it or not, there is only one way, or no, how do I put this? There is only one duty officer in the entire game that can craft the Aegis set. Now, it's the same duty officer for all three pieces. See here? Same guy again. If I click on shields, same guy again. All right, his name is Gumari. And... um. There is only one way to get him in the game, outside of any um, recruitment events that might be going on. Uh, and that is the Request R&D Assistance mission that we talked about a few minutes ago. So there is a very, very small chance that you can get this duty officer 
um, from doing this mission. I know one of the members of the Priority One Armada done this mission at every opportunity they could, like every whatever it was, three or four days, three days, um, they would do this mission. And it took them well over seven months to get Gumari. Um, he got a lot, a whole bunch of other stuff, like in the meantime, he got a crap ton of crafting materials, he got um, a, a ton of uh, common quality specialists for all the other various schools, but it took him over seven months to get to uh, Gumari, and that's what he was going for. Now, having said that, um, there are others that were doing the very same thing, doing that mission at every opportunity they could, and they got him within, you know, six to eight weeks, and on the other hand, then, there's some people that still haven't got him. So it is an extremely small chance that you can get this duty officer by doing this mission. Um, so yeah, uh, if you are looking for the R&D specialist uh, for a the Aegis set, Gumari, uh, this is something that you might want to consider uh, doing on a regular basis. Um, it will also reward you with, uh, as I said, some crafting materials or uh, components, crafting components. Um, and uh, there is also a chance that you can get uh, other specialists, uh, R&D specialists from uh, that mission as well. Anyway, we'll leave it there for now. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. My name is Winters, and I'll see you next time. So until then, take care.